I only met Don a couple of months ago. He was kind enough to let me join him on an adventure to one of his favourite hidden fishing spots. He wouldn't tell me where we were going or anything about it. Man, just walking in, I was blown away by the beauty of the hike into this place. I knew it was going to be an amazing day fly fishing. I sometimes forget what it is about fly fishing that makes it so special, but this trip reminded me of just that. I'll let Dom tell you a little bit more about it. Quite a stunning place. This is one of my favourite little alpine streams, full of little brown trout and just a stunning environment. I mean, such a great place to walk and fish. Lots of snakes, lots of frogs, lots of bugs. I've been coming up here on and off for probably 25 years. Um, in the past, you used to be able to drive in and all the roads are shut these days. So it's a little bit of a hike in, which helps protect the place and keeps it as pristine as what you can see now. Now I've never come across anybody up here and um, I make sure I never tell anybody where it is either. Oh, there's a little rise right up there. I'm just gonna start today fishing with some midges because there's a few midge about, but I'm hoping we'll get some hoppers and beetles around when it warms up in the afternoon. We're late autumn, we've got a fairly low flow, uh, nice and clear, so long leaders. Uh, I can see a nice little fish rising at the moment. Just up where the sun and the shade meet, um, there's some little ripples coming down and a little compression, there he goes. They're always a challenge when they spook 20 metres in front of you. I could not believe how easy it was to spook these fish. The clear, slow moving water was really challenging and the added pressure of a cameraman watching your every move. You can see all them bugs. <laughs> Once the season spot this, I don't like to hit it too hard. It's just nice to come up and it's like visit, visiting an old friend. The place really started to heat up. We were seeing more bugs like dragonflies and hoppers and we began spotting more fish, managing to spook most of them. Fishing and filming was not easy. It looked so walkable from the air but every step or so would fall away, three or four feet even, hidden under long growth. Then there was climbing out of the stream back onto the grassland. Ah. <laughs> that was the spot though. Wow, this place looked insane from the drone. It was like a fortress of tall trees, almost hiding the stream as it snakes through the tall grasslands. I was having an absolute ball flying there. Actually, Don caught his first fish while I was flying the drone, and I managed to get up to him to get some closer shots. How incredible is this corner? It's just like a duck's head. You would definitely call Don a true blue Aussie. He's humble, he's an adventurer, and he's a great fishing buddy. I was having an absolute ball watching how naturally his flies would drift down the river, perfect presentation, and in the most incredible surroundings.
perfect spot to sneak up on one without him seeing you. Oh! <laughs> It's two and two casts nearly now. <laughs> Check out that little one zipping around and then getting spooked. <laughs> yep, then panicked and took off. So there's a nice little one up here somewhere. I'll wait and see if I can see him rise. Yep, okay, I can see him. Okay. Oh, you know, it jumped out on the bank for me. And probably as the day warms up even more with a bit of wind, we'll get a few hoppers on the water and we can go for a little bit of a bigger fly, which will, which will work well. Check out that rise up there. Awesome, except that's a bug and not Don's fly. He's thinking about it. Got him. Ah. <laughs> not all about the catching, is it? <laughs> Today they seem to have one look at it, and if they don't take it that time, they're not that happy to come back up again. That was my chance, unfortunately. If you notice, Don starts working out the casting around the corners and over the long grass really hides us well and makes it easier to spot the fish even. But casting from in the stream really helps with the drifts. This is one of the most incredible streams I've seen in Victoria. The beauty of this place Actually, you can see the perspective on this shot with me a corner back from Don. And from ground level, standing there, you could not see a corner ahead of you with the grasslands so tall. I love this shot. There's two fish there, one to the right of the fish that Don's casting to. A perfect drift and a take. The fish were coming out into the middle of the stream now, with multiple fish round every corner. 
the drone could really see well through the shallow clear water. You could almost map out the stream ahead. Australian crayfish. Ooh, he's gonna lean back a long way with his nippers too. Oh, he's a bit small. I don't kill them actually. They they take so long to grow that I just would never would. That fly's coming off, and I'll put on my little red tag won't float as well but when all else fails a little black and simple it's probably I don't show there can't show them like that <laughs> it's a lovely looking little fish I know they eat this little fly, it's just a matter of getting it in front of them before they spot us. Which seems to be the biggest challenge today. When I go underwater a tiny bit, the line doesn't leave a reflection on that shallow sand. And you get more fish. I'm going to put on a big yellow and green hopper. <laughs> That's what happens with the smaller fish and the bigger flies. They miss a lot of them. Our day on the water was just about finished. Don's hoping for a great surface take with the hopper. There's a nice rise right up in that end corner. <laughs> That's how you finish a trip. <laughs> Come here, dude. Come here, little fella. Oh, released. That's a wrap. No, it's not because we have to walk out of here yet. That's not easy. <laughs> Let's go. I've got a beer in the creek somewhere. What an absolute incredible day. Which I thought was over but Don didn't quite explain how hard it was to get out of there. It took us 45 minutes through the thickest scrub. And here, this is where it opens up, but it's still bloody hard. I think yeah, yeah. That was fun, Dom. <laughs> Thanks, mate. There aren't many days I film a fisherman where I'm just happy filming. Today was one of those days. I hope I get to join Don next year when he visits this secret stream.